everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from Saragordo Zoo, and we're back here playing some more Zawa for your eyeballs and ear holes to enjoy. First off, I want to start off this announcement by thank you, thanking all of you for tuning in and watching the series. I'm enjoying myself making the zoo, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying yourself watching me make the zoo. Uh, and thank you all to everybody who leaves comments and all that other fun jazz, because it really helps me out, you know, with the algorithm and all that, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, fun stuff, including building another exhibit here in the zoo, so... Ooh. But, I do have to name a rhino before I get to that. However, I do want to make a little, little announcement that tomorrow, so this is airing on a Friday, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a live stream from here. So, uh, stay tuned to the co uh, community tab on my channel to figure out what time because I honestly don't really know I just have committed myself to doing it so so stay tuned for that there's gonna be a live stream coming to the channel tomorrow so if you're watching this on the day it releases it's tomorrow but we have some stuff to go do so let me fly over here not being able to see at all where I'm going and we'll get over here and I uh, get to naming some of these rhinos thank you all for everyone who uh, submitted a name for the rhino uh, there's uh, quite a few to choose from a lot of really good ones And I picked out one that basically had the most votes because I honestly couldn't pick out any other one because I, 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 I couldn't decide I'm an indecisive grimer today and that name was Sudan So thank you big shout out Thank you to Kathy Clism for suggesting it and for love to craft and Tim Sauerbeer for uh, backing it up saying that would be a fantastic name all right, let's go name this uh, this rhino this. Uh, actually, I got a little bit of gunpowder on I me. Mean, we'll just eat that in there. I don't need it. All right, let's go name... And I got some cobbles on it. Okay, <clears throat> all right, let's go name this... <laughs> let's go name this rhino here, and then we'll get on with the rest of the episode. All right, here we go. We'll, we'll set uh, Sudan back here in the cave, just like that. What are you, anyway? Sudan is a female. How about that? Nifty. Uh, do you like uh, what I put in your fish for your food bowl? I think carrots? Do you like carrots? Can't tell. You don't like carrots. Well, there you go. Enjoy your name tag, though. Uh, hopefully, you'll enjoy carrots in due time, because uh, that's that's what I gave you. All right, let's get out. <laughs> let's get out of here. Uh, who? I thought that thing would have eaten carrots, but oh well. Maybe I'll sneak in there. I'll have to try and get again. Maybe I'll sneak in there and swap out its food with something that it would actually enjoy. For right now, it's 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 so sleepy. All right, in this episode, we got some building that I want to get to, though, because we made this in the last episode. I completely forgot to do the path. Did I say that in the last episode, that I was going to try to do that, and then I, I knew I wouldn't because I, I kind of always forget to? Yeah, I forgot to. Um, my bad. Uh, I'll get to it eventually, probably during the live stream <laughs> tomorrow. But uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an exhibit right here, because we got some space. If you look at the map here, we got some space here. to. Ooh, that's a mountain. We got some space here to fill up. All right, and right here is a one of them. There's a lot of space here. Now, I do want to have this path that we have going this way kind of hug the mountainside like what it's been doing with, you know, exhibits dotted along the side of it. And then I wanted to enter like right here and go into the reptile center along this area right here. The reptile center is on its way. I got a lot of animals I want to put in there. I don't even know how many. There's Komodo dragons. There's uh, there's more than that. Hold on. I got, uh, there's box turtle, uh, green anaconda. There's... Uh, uh, the Gila Monsters, um, I think those are reptiles, right? They're not, well, yeah, we'll, we'll throw them in there. Um, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff. Dwarf croc dwarf Crocodiles, the, uh, the Garials, there's a bunch of stuff all going into this mountain. So I can't wait to get to that, but I have to work my way over there, which means I have to fill up this area right here. Now, on the map uh, that I kind of halfway kind of sort of drew just to lay out what I, where I wanted things, there's absolutely nothing here other than... Um, Bears, I think, was the only thing I put there. So, a lot of room to add extra exhibits here. And I think today we're going to be putting one right here. All right. Now, which one are we going to throw here? Well, for that, I'm going to have to go dive into my uh, into my, my box of animals and see what I actually already have caught. I really do need to go animal hunting again. So, maybe that'll happen on a live stream. Actually, I do have a plan for tomorrow's live stream. So, please be sure to tune in. It's something that I desperately need because I am... I am uh, using my cave spider grinder as an XP grinder to repair all my mending stuff. And you can see here I didn't even finish because it just takes forever. So wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm going to be doing something tomorrow that uh, you guys can all watch me fail at and, then <laughs> and laugh at. So, uh, all right, uh, where's my where's my uh, box of stuff? What, what do I got in here? I got box or albatross. Nothing that can climb or get out of there because unless I want to build an actual enclosure, which... I do, but I don't want to build it out in the open. I think that enclosures will work best inside of one of the mountains. So like the chimpanzees, I want to build that enclosure inside the mountain. That way I don't have to build like a structure outside. The only outside structures that I want to build are maybe for the butterflies and the aviary. And I'm thinking that's about it. 
What do, what do I got in here? Uh, Tasmanian Devil I saw pop up in there real quick. Lapagos Taurus. Uh, the Three Toad Sloth, actually. I did not have those in Wildwood last uh, uh, season because I did not actually find them. And I found a couple of this time. So I can absolutely throw those in there. But I believe they can climb. I'm not 100% sure. So we'll probably put those in an enclosure as well. All right, let me look through here and I'll, I'll find something. Hmm. What about the Blue Raptors? Huh? What are these things? I, I made one last season for these guys. And uh, it was a lot of fun because uh, they sound like demonic firecrackers. Uh, that might be the name of the episode right there. Cassowaries. Yeah, let's make another cassowary exhibit. I like that. Okay, so they actually reside in mainly like jungle-like areas, I believe, if, I'm, if my memory serves me well from uh, last season. Oh, the sun is setting and creepers be creeping, you know what I'm saying? So let's uh, slap down the backpack and take a power nap. Cassowaries, though, believe they uh, they live in a jungle-like environment, so I'm going to have to build a little bit of a jungle-like environment for them. Now, this doesn't have to be a gigantic, uh, gigantic exhibit, but I do want to have it encompass like a decent chunk. I have two cassowaries, so I mean, I, I wouldn't mind making it a little bit bigger than what the rhino has here because there's two animals in there, so maybe about this size right here, and then that leaves room for other exhibits still. All right, what that, what that means, though, is that I do have to kind of plot this out here. So you're going to be able to go down this walkway right here. And uh, I'm, I'm planning on putting, you know, a little bit of the natural terrain right here just so that it kind of blends together still. Uh, but then I'm thinking we're just going to quickly slap this down here and kind of... Ooh, the bear is not too thrilled that I am here. Hello, buddy. Roar. Roar. Getting your, uh, your workout, you're working the glutes, I see. Just, you know, it's, it's that in the lower back, that really helps out the lower back, too. Ugh, stretch those muscles, yeah. Oh, he, he's like, I just want to eat you. All right, so, all right, let's go ahead and mark out this uh, exhibit, kind of where we need to go. I actually really need to, oh, I need to get this path done. I need to get this path done. Okay, I know it's another oval, uh, but it basically, oh, you can't see it on the map anyway. Basically that. I'm thinking will be the best course of action for the cassowaries. Gives them plenty of space, enough uh, space to put it in a tree in here too. You know, something, a little something, something. Um, I just got to go ahead and do a lot of digging now, so warm up the pickaxe. Ooh, you can feel the montage coming. Ooh, here it is. Behold! A hole! <laughs> I did it! I dug it out! It's all done. Look at this. How's the cassowary exhibit looking? Pretty good? Pretty spot on? This is, of course, just the beginning of it. Uh, there's obviously a lot of detailing to be done in here to make it look a little bit more jungle-esque. I actually wouldn't mind adding, you know, like some more shrubs and stuff. I haven't really done a jungle build, I think, in this entire zoo. No. No, I haven't. Okay, so sweet! This will be the first jungle exhibit. Alright, so I'm thinking... A little beard scratch. I'm um, thinking doing, like, down here gets a little bit lower, just the wall does, just natural terrain. And instead of trying to alter that, I figured I'm just going to go with it. But I'm thinking I'm going to maybe create, like, a little water thing. <laughs> a water thing. Maybe a pond. We'll go with a pond, okay? I'm thinking a pond will look good. Also, I want to go ahead and grab out of here a bunch of grass because I want to raise this side up just a bit. Maybe not right along the wall, but maybe like a hill, actually. Not liking that. Let's bring that back just a wee bit. Maybe like a hill somewhere around in here. You know, something, a little elevated uh, bit of terrain for them to actually stand on, other than just a big flat exhibit. And then, I'm thinking the pond can go right about... Cassowaries, I don't think are going to drown in this, because I'm pretty sure they stand too tall. But can go probably right around there, somewhere. Take that uh, back just a wee bit more. Give it a little bit more of a unique shape rather than just like, like a box. Yeah, you know, that might work all right. 
yeah, all right, we're gonna go with that. All right, I'm gonna get to uh, work on getting a nap in before the creepers be creeping, and I'm also gonna get to work on filling in all of this grass, and then we might even be able to get to work on some of the terrain. All right, so for the terrain in here, I'm gonna try to make it look jungle, so I need it to be grass, green, uh, Definitely high humidity. I don't want to have this be very arid and dry, so we're going to leave the sand completely out of it. Probably even over by the pond. I don't really need sand over there. I went ahead and grabbed some of these things out of here, because these are the blocks I'm thinking of right now. Green concrete powder, coarse dirt, and podzel to kind of make this uh, make this a little bit more green lake. A lot of leaves. I have a fair amount of jungle leaves, actually, which is good, because I'm probably going to be using quite a few of them in this build. I'll also be using grass in the to make up the ground as well. But I figured, I'd, well, I might get a lot of that when I dig it up, but unfortunately I actually use dirt to place a lot of this, so maybe I won't get a lot, so let's just grab some grass out of here. All right, let's rearrange the hop bar a little bit, because we got some terrain to be building. Oh, they're really hard on the knees. All right, so first blocks first here, and we're going to actually go with the green concrete powder, I'm thinking. I'm also tempted to let this grow over real fast and try to, so that it's uh, mainly grass instead of dirt, because that's going to really throw off my building style if I'm trying to think of this as dirt. So let's just kind of get some grass in here and let this start spreading. And I'll start working on the hill instead. Okay, so on the hill, it's basically going to be a lot of green concrete powder, I'm thinking, just to kind of really make the greenery kind of pop through in all of this. So this is going to be a, a predominant block in here, but I got to keep in mind that I can't actually plant any plants on the green concrete powder. So even though I need a lot of it actually in here, I got to be a little careful as to how much I actually put in here. All right, the green concrete powder is in. Let me just inhale a chicken here so that I, I'm not starving to death. I'm thinking I should probably give the pond a little TLC before I get too carried away with the rest of the landscape because I got to make sure that I have the green concrete concrete powder placed in a good spot so that it doesn't turn into green concrete. So let's get down here. And what blocks am I putting down here? What am I doing? What? <laughs> let me uh, let me open up the bat backpack real quick. I'm gonna put some, uh, some grass in there for right now just to make some wiggle room here. Oh boy, I need I need some more. I got a lot of stuff. Hold on, I gotta get rid of this worm. And yeet that worm off into oblivion. Let's get back there. All right, so <laughs> one worm. I always get a worm when I'm digging up the uh, the dirt, and it always fills up an inventory spot, and then it always bugs me. That's not even the right backpack. What am I even clicking on? Let's go with the ground blocks here. Uh, I need to get more brown terracotta, because that's definitely not enough. Let's just go ahead and sprinkle that in, in places. So obviously this is kind of like the mud block. Now we do have mud blocks, but if you haven't seen any of, any of the earlier episodes, I don't actually use mud blocks because animals get stuck in them. So I use brown terracotta as a substitute. Something like that should probably work up pretty good for a, uh, a little pond. We do have to fill that up, of course, with water. So I got uh, let's uh, use oh not the not that backpack. Uh, where's my uh, iron golem backpack? Let's get a bucket of water out of here, and then we will make an infinite water source here, like so. And then I can actually take this and put this back in here. Fill up my backpack again so I never run out of water. Alright, let's fill this up completely so that it ha they have a nice pond. I just realized something. I'm probably going to want to put like some lily pads in here. If it's going to be inside of a kind of a jungle build, uh, I'm going to want it to be kind of overgrown. And I don't think I have a lot of lily pads. Actually, let's do that real quick. I know I usually do foliage later, but let's look. What do we got? Oh, we got some. In fact, we got the small ones too, so that's actually pretty good. That's kind of the ones I really wanted. Uh, so let's go ahead and dot these things in here. Uh, one of those isn't real. Something like this. I'm actually overloading this with small lily pads because I wanted to make it look like it's overgrown. And let's get a, at least a flowering one in there and maybe a couple of regular big ones here. Eat that down right there. A couple of them in here like that. Good. All right. I'm thinking I like that. That looks good and overgrown. Man, time flies. Before I get too much more carried away with uh, with the pond there, I think it's probably a good idea if I go through and add the other blocks to make up the terrain. That way uh, I don't have to like break some of the plants or something if I place a few things around there, you know, that I, I want to, or I have to move so I can get the terrain put in. So when we go through, I'm going to be adding some coarse dirt and a slight bit of gravel, and I might even throw in some brown terracotta every once in a while, but I also need to add the pods all. There's so much stuff to add. Oh, I got this. There we go. All right, I even added the path blocks and everything. Look at me go. Now, I think it's time that we start adding, like, the bushes and the trees and the foliage and all that other fun jazz in here. Let's start with the pond here. I already have a little bit of things in there, but I want to add maybe some of these guys. <clears throat> what else can I add in there? 
perhaps some river cane. I think that would look pretty good. And uh, maybe a little bit of cattail also. Sure, let's go ahead and just kind of sprinkle these in. Now, let's see if I can still do this because somebody, remember, told me that I can place these if I look at the surface of the water, which it looks like that is true. Look at that. All right. Maybe a little bit of river cane along the back here, you know, kind of spread out a little. Good, good. And then we're going to put a, a couple cattail maybe on the other side, kind of back here. Hmm, where can I put this? Um... Oh, I don't have a spot. Okay, never mind. Maybe maybe just one cattail. Eh, one cattail is good. That's better than nothing. All right. So, now I don't I still don't have a lot of plants. Okay? So, I'm going to have to probably kind of go hunting for those a little bit, but definitely want to include some bamboo growing in here because it would make sense given that it's going to be more in a jungle lake setting. So, I'm going to put this in a couple of places actually. Maybe like that. I'm thinking that would probably be fine. All right, yeah, just a few pieces. I think those grow again, and I think I've said this before, but I need to grab maybe some string. Let's grab some blocks of some kind, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna prevent this from growing very high. Oh, I just also realized this. Oh, man, I just realized. I gotta, I gotta finish the walls. I didn't finish the walls, I, and here I am placing things up against it. That's kind of a foolish move. All right, so I gotta quickly finish the walls, and then let's get the wood backpack out here, and then we can get going on the rest of the build. All right, now that I got the walls put in, we can go ahead and finish up with doing the uh, doing the little string trick here to prevent these things from growing any farther. Um, I don't want that. I didn't need. I didn't need to place that block. I don't want that to grow any farther than where that's at right now. I think having just a little one block high one will be fine. This one can go just a hair higher, so I'm going to slap a piece of string there. And then this guy right here, I'm thinking can go. Yeah right here. I think they only grow three high, so that might be a little redundant to even do that, but whatever. I'm going to put it there to just kind of prevent it from going any farther. All right, so what else can I do uh, to make this look jungle-like? Let's get the uh, plants back back out here. Do a little shopping. I'm thinking adding a few bushes in here would make a lot of sense. Um, there is, I have one of these guys, which I think looks amazing. In fact, I think that's actually found in the jungle. I should go grab a couple more of them. Uh, that might help out a little bit in this area. Vines would be handy, but I don't want the animals to grow or to climb up them. So that's always kind of a pain using them. So I don't really know if I'm going to. Um, as far as uh, adding glow shrooms and stuff, that would make more sense in a in a mine. So it looks like just a lot of flowers then, and I don't really have much of them. Temple bells, they're going in here someplace. I only have one of them. Man, I really need to go hunt for some more plants. Raphalasia? Raphalasia? Big flower. There you go. Got it. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to slap that down there. going to put that one over there, I'm thinking. Now, I do need to put a tree in here of some kind because I'm thinking that would probably look really good. And instead of doing a dynamics tree, I'm just thinking about actually doing a custom tree. Why not? Uh, I don't really have... I'm going to probably use just oak wood for this. I don't really have a lot of jungle wood, but that's okay because it doesn't really absolutely need to be. But let's go ahead and actually just start kind of plotting this thing out a little bit. As far as where I'm going to put this tree, I'm thinking about bringing back my kind of like a uh, tree that looks a little slumped over, you know, with the vines hanging down off of it. Oh, I already just fell over and broke my legs. Uh, with my uh, with like the vines hanging down off of it, I think that will look pretty good, especially since it's going to be on diagonal. I'm going to raise that up like three. I'm thinking actually, uh, because I want this to uh, be a little too high for the for the uh, cassowaries to kind of get out of. Uh, and hey, got it. All right, sweet. Let's um, break that one. Carve out the bottom of that as well. Something like that. And knock that out too. Mm, yeah, that should be good. And then maybe another one that kind of goes up a little bit over here. So, all right. Let's see. Let's see how this looks, actually. Let's just hop down here real quick. Like I said, not mm, something's mm, not liking this so far. Hold on, let's <laughs> see if we can save it. See if we can save this. All right, I'm thinking that's about it. I know it doesn't look like much, but we got to add the leaves to it still. So let me just quickly, not, I don't need the coal. Let me quick get the bat backpack out and throw that in there. We're going to grab the leaves out of there. I also have a few willow leaves I wouldn't mind adding into this as well as some good old-fashioned oak leaves. Just adding a couple of uh, draping kind of vines kind of hanging off this thing using the willow leaves I think kind of looks pretty good. I'm thinking this will work out. I kind of want to also kind of have this wrap around here a little bit. That's really kind of caked down. Mm, not liking that at all, actually. Hold on. 
We're gonna, I, mm, can I pop that thing up? All right, we're gonna grab that, move this back here, actually. And then, uh, and then we'll squirt that, uh, reflage, re, re, uh, big flower to, uh, maybe right here on the corner. Although that is kind of getting, I don't really like that either. Ah, there we go, perfect, base of the tree. All right, so that looks pretty good. It looks actually not that bad. All right, I thought that was gonna be a little bit worse. I wouldn't mind getting a different wood texture in there on the trunk though, so that it looks like maybe, 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 and maybe, maybe. All right, so let's, uh, I think that the spruce is gonna be a little too dark though, so let's go ahead and just pop out a little bit of this, and we're gonna change this up just a bit, so that maybe it looks like parts of this tree are kinda getting a little dry, maybe a little dry, you know? Not too bad, and maybe even on this side here, kind of on the roots themselves, kind of going that way. That way, it looks like the tree itself has some interesting textures to it. This is an interesting texture. It's also not in the right spot, so or the right direction. Something like that, I think, would look just fine. Just a little extra details, not much, not much. All right, I think that's pretty good for a tree, though. What do you guys think? I mean, it's it's. Uh, let me actually maybe look at it from someplace not inside the pen. The cassowaries will think it looks amazing, but I, I wonder what this looks like on the outside. Supposed to look kind of like a droopy kind of jungle, like oh, big legs, big, big droopy leggy uh, tree, you know. It's not too bad, honestly. The uh, the vines need to be more as far as like coming down, so that's why I look. Let's go ahead and bring these things down more, even something like this. It needs to be more vines, more vines. All right, let's look at that now. Um, 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 chicken. Um, 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 more chicken. All right, so yeah. All right, that looks already a lot better. All right, I'm thinking that looks a lot better. Now, I only need one tree in there, really. I don't really want, intend on putting any more in there. So now I think it's down to just making the foliage. So let's grab the plants right now. Ah, uh, nope, nope, I lied. Let's grab the bat backpack and eat all of this stuff back in there because I won't be needing it. Is there a skeleton somewhere? Where are you? Oh, hi. All right, with the skeleton all taken care of and no longer rattling his bones in my ears, I can go ahead and actually get to work on putting in some of these bushes and stuff that I want to add. Now, I can actually build a little bit up onto this here, which is kind of cool. I just got to make sure that I don't go too far so that the, the cassowaries can climb out, which I kind of can right there. So, <laughs> so let's pull this one back down just a little bit. And, uh, and maybe we'll actually put this a little bit into the ground more. Something like that. There we go. Now, I do have that one put in place. I wouldn't mind throwing in another one. I'm building mainly the, the bushes like that in areas where this is uh, this is four tall. So it's a, one of the higher walled areas so that the cassowaries can't get out. Because otherwise I can't really build it any much farther. I can only build it like too high right now just to keep the cassowaries in there. So uh, I'm thinking about throwing another one maybe right in here. So... Something along the lines, even something simple like that, I think looks pretty good. And other than that, I'm thinking, actually, you know what? Here we go, perfect. I'm going to add another one right here in the center of the area. That way I can actually build this up just a bit more. So it's actually like a proper, like big berry bush. Or, well, not berry bush, but like a big patch of, uh, of, uh, of bushes, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to like creatively build and speak at the same time in my brain. You just heard, people. You just heard my brain fail right there. <laughs> All right, I think that's probably enough with the bushes. Let's go ahead and throw those back into the bat backpack. Uh, let's eat this bone up in here. So actually, let's grab that. And I also dug up a bunch of bone blocks in the nether. Um, in fact, the only reason why I did is so that I could turn it into bone meal because I knew I was going to need it. Let's go ahead and turn that all into bone meal. Now, I think I'm just going to bone meal the holy... Never mind, hold on. Actually, you want, I got some berry bushes I want to add into this as well. Uh, and then I'm going to bone meal the holy heck out of this place. <laughs> because we, because uh, I need some tall grass in here for sure. Because raptors like tall grasses. And I'm pretty sure cassowaries are just modern day raptors. Alright, adding the bone meal now. So this is, like I said, going to be going in heavy. I don't care about flowers in this one. They can actually stick around. Because this is, after all, supposed to be a very kind of lush environment. So, oh, leaves. Hold on. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm getting a little carried away here. Because this is actually a, a tree that will probably have a lot of leaves, both living and dead, on the ground. Um, as far as dead, or living living tree, living leaves, living leaves. Um, I think it's, yeah, let me grab some oak leaves. I think it's, yeah, it's just that. Let's grab a bunch of these things, and we're going to dot them around all over the place. Uh, as well as the dead leaves. 
and that way uh, it'll look like this tree is actually, you know, kind of here, obviously, you know, sprinkling its, uh, its goodness all over the place. Trees obviously le lose leaves occasionally from either wind or feathers ruffling or, you know, like birds ru ruffling the feathers in there or something. So we're going to go ahead and just dot these things all over this whole exhibit. Maybe even, no, we can't put them on top of, uh, on top of, uh, uh, leaf blocks. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, but let's go ahead and just kill off the rest of the, actually, you know what? We can even put some on top of here because it would have fallen off of here, you know, and piled on top of itself. So that, that kind of makes sense. Is it getting nighttime again? Holy cow. Like, every time I start recording, I'm like, alright, let's do this, we got this, and then it's like nighttime immediately. Uh, it, or at least it seems that way, but in reality, it's just because I'm taking forever to pick up what blocks I want to put down. I'm actually running out of places to take a nap, so we're going to be sleeping on the roots of the tree right now, because I got too much foliage and stuff in the way to place my backpack. And I'm just going to add more, I know it's going to get just worse. All right, I can't find a single grass block in here that I can place more bone meal on. So I think I might have got all my ba all my bases covered, just barely. Let's go ahead and just eat those things back up in here for right now. Oh, I got you know, I gotta find I gotta find two more, two more somewhere. Mm. All right, never mind. You know what I'll do instead? I will uh, put them in here instead. <laughs> Looks like I already have some bones in here also, so it's no big deal. All right, so that's that. I need my plant backpack again because I got these to throw in there. And I actually have a couple of those as well. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I do need, of course, the squid backpack because I haven't put any pebbles in here at all. And I don't need to put too many. This isn't supposed to be a very rocky area. So just a couple here or there. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the top part where I actually have to take these things out and put in all of the steel bars. So because, I mean, if these cassowaries do manage to get like up onto this edge here, they're going to roam free and it'll be just like, a, a, it'll just be a massacre in the zoo because those things will be running around hunting just like raptors. So I want to be able to make sure that they stay in here by putting steel bars around the edge and hopefully that will keep them in place. Alright, so there we go. The fence is put in place. I think that exhibit is actually done. That went really smoothly, actually. That was uh, that was kind of fun to throw together. I think it kind of looks like an overgrown jungle. Obviously, this isn't really realistic. You can just waltz right on throughout of here, you know. But uh, I'm going to maybe put little stone pillar things up in there to kind of break that up. So the pathway goes this way, maybe a little divide there with some stone. I could actually probably kind of throw a rough idea of what I'm talking about right now. Instead of, instead of telling you, I could probably just show you something like this, so that way the, the landscape kind of blends into it, you know? Something along that, uh, lines there, mm. Like that, maybe? Although it's starting to look a little ridiculous. Maybe, hold on, wait one second. Maybe we did this instead. That looks a little bit better. Now this path that I got right here is supposed to come this way. And it's supposed to go this way. And hug this, and then that way you can see you can see Sudan there, who is awake. Hi, lady, how's it going? And then uh, it's gonna cut this way over to past an exhibit that's gonna be right here. Not a chicken exhibit. You are not gonna be part of the zoo. You are just a vanilla Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft mob. It's gonna go past here, and then it's gonna go into the mountain right here, underneath the waterfall, and lead into the reptile center. But back here, just past the cassowary exhibit, I think it would be a good idea if it actually forked and went this way as well. And that way it leads this way, and you can also view the cassowaries from over here, and it leaves room for an exhibit right here, so it leaves that opens up more possibilities for even more animals to be smashed into the zoo. Uh, and it gets us back over here, kind of over in that area. There's also an area here for an exhibit. So there's a lot of areas open up now, just by kind of branching that pathway, <clears throat> where I can actually build more exhibits. But that's going to have to be in a later episode, because I'm pretty sure that this episode is done. And as you can see behind me here, we got a cassowary exhibit. I do have two cassowaries, okay? So I need a couple of names. So if you guys don't mind going down in the comments section and dropping your ideas for some cassowary names, I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you in advance for doing that. Uh, come up with something cool. I think last season we had Kevin and Blue were our cassowary names. So anything but Kevin and Blue uh, would be great. So thank you all for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. And if you did enjoy it, please go down and smash that like button. It helps me out. Remember, algorithm stuff, YouTube, what do you call it? You know, anything that could help get this uh, video some attention would be vastly and greatly appreciated. So thank you all again for watching. And I will see you guys next week. I hope your Friday has been wonderful. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.